I'm on something you ain't used to I'ma pop up on your YouTube Nothing new under the sun I only tried once, girl, I'm something like a blue moon I'm on something you ain't used to I'ma pop up on your Good, good afternoon, Raw Squad I wanted to come today First of all, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. I really do appreciate you guys, but I had to get on here today and talk about a few things, right? And I know I talk with my hands, y'all know me, right? We are all like one big family at this point, right? So um, we had fun in the other videos the other day. It was a lot of things being said. Um, it was a lot of imposters, intruders, you know, people that came on the live and stuff, you guys. But we're not worried about them. You know, I want to get on here and really talk to you guys about some things that where we could be careful being content creators. We have to make sure that um, we let our other fellow content creators know that we're not with all the shenanigans that people wants to um, display us as being, right? So I get on here, y'all, and I got good energy. I feel good. It's Friday. Um, I got a lot of housework and stuff to do around here, but I said I'm going to save everything for the weekend because I'm waiting for my oldest son to come because he got a truckload that he needs to take to the dump that he didn't pick up from somewhere. But it got to get from in front of my house, right? <laughs> but I'm going to throw a few things on there, too, out of my garage because I want to clean out. You know, just get rid of a few things. I buy stuff, but I also get rid of a lot of stuff, and I don't got time to sell nothing. I just dump it, you know, because it's old. But anyway, I want to get on here today because I saw Coco live last night on YouTube. And congratulations, Coco, for being monetized and getting to where you're trying to be. Because I do think that you're an interesting person. I think that Boogie and your sister-in-law are beautiful people. She is doing an amazing job with her children. And she's so humble. Like, she's really a humble soul. And um, it shows. It speaks volumes about who she is and this is why you guys household probably can run really smoothly because it seemed like it's a lot of humbleness and love in that environment right but i did see the live where he said he was good with me like you know what i'm saying i don't know if he you know people never forget what was said but he seems like he haven't forgiven heart so that's good but i wanted to come on here and touch on some more serious um points about youtube and the youtube word and all the stuff that um these people are doing and you know they keep us going even when we want to clap for certain people and give them praises and lift them up they didn't send so many ugly people to attack us or i'm just gonna speak for me to attack me but i do see the you know the same few people being attacked by this same group of people so it's hard to, you know, not come on here and really uh, critique everything that's going on with Miss Latrice because she didn't send so many bullies over. It's not funny, you know, and that's her responsibility because I would never say go attack this person, go rate their comments, go clone their names, go in each other things and comment, you know, hate, hate mail from one another so they can start feuding amongst each other. That's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? This is where your age really and your maturity really shows. So, oh, this makeup always make my nose itch. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys give me such good compliments on different little shirts and stuff. I'm a big girl, so I, I have to be, you know, creative when shopping and stuff. This blouse right here came from Express. If you guys are my size, if you're a big girl and you want to find nice things, you wouldn't think that Express would have things for us, but they do. They have really stretchy material and cute things. So when my daughters go to Express and shop, I always find beautiful blouses. Um, it's not a lot of their pants that I could fit because I am an 18 in pants so i do have to go to stores that really carry my size you know because you know the fit but if you guys like this blouse it's a um it's like a a, a button up it's like a leotard blouse and i found it at express so if you guys want to find it check it out they have this color cream and black i like colors you guys so i try to steer clear from blacks a lot although i have a lot of black stuff but i like color you know i like to feel happy and colors make me happy i think i told you guys that before 
So back to what I'm saying. So I had a really nice conversation with Cece yesterday. I love Cece. I think that she is an amazing person. Uh, Melissa, I think you're an amazing person. And I'm even going to include Coco because he's on YouTube too. So I want him to know about this video and know what's going on because these people that Latrice have sent to harass us and bother us, they are making pages in our names. And they are going on each other's, in each other's lives and they're commenting as if they're us. So I'm just going to put it out there, you guys. I will never leave a comment on any of your videos. Melissa, Cece, Coco, I will never comment on any of you guys' videos, okay? So if you get a comment from me, it's not me. I will utilize Instagram DMs and um your emails if I have something that I want to say directly to you guys, okay? I left a comment on Coco's um, Facebook one day. I told you guys I wanted to publicly apologize, so I put it in his comment, but that was the only time that I've ever said anything to him directly, right? So, um, I know Cece was in agreement with this too. We can watch and support one another, you know, just by giving the view. We don't have to leave a comment. We could even hit the like button. But if you ever see anything that says chopping it up with Roz on any of their comments or any of their lives, it's not me. It's not me. I'm not going to play into the hands of these uh, villains, you know, because that's what I'm going to call them. Because um, I don't even think that they personally know Latrice, um, but they are on a, um, a mission, a quest of spreading hate and um, talking really bad about people's outer appearance. You know, they don't know, they can't resonate with what I have going on because I'm coming from the heart, right? So I just wanted to put that out there to you guys. So Melissa, Cece, Coco, any of you guys see this video? Even, you know, even Latrice. I don't comment on nothing um, of her things. It would never be chopping it up with Roz under anybody's comment sections, under anybody live videos. So if you see my name, it's not me. We going to... You know, we're going to kill that. You know, if I ever see anything come in my lives or in my comments, unless I've directly talked with Melissa or Cece, I'm just going to disregard it as it not being them, right? So, I'm sorry, you guys. My yeah, I get on here and I don't know what it is, but my nose always start bothering me. I think it's the Fenty Beauty because I'm allergic to so many things, but... It wouldn't be surprised if I'm alert to this too, but I love it. I love makeup. I think it's so pretty, so I wear it. Um, and what else I want to talk to you guys about? It was just, that was the most important thing because I don't want these people to use these tactics to try to turn us against one another. You know, I don't have anything to give but love and constructive criticism. I would never come from a place of hate. It's just not in me to do so. I look for my blessings from the universe. So I have to be careful what I put out into the universe, right? Because I want to plant seeds to grow in good because I have a lot of people um, dependent on me. I have my children and my grandchildren, and I know that I'm okay because of the good things that my grandmother sold in me or in the universe for us to be protected and safe and happy and um, very plentiful and, you know, just very well off and not, you know, we all go through the struggles, but it's more good going on, right, than bad. So I know that, that comes from her praying and her looking out for us. And I want to do the same things for my grandchildren and my children because they mean the world to me, right? And I know Deborah's on here. Deborah, you are amazing. Um, my daughter came to me and said that you reached out to her and you sent her a going away gift. And she was so extremely happy. She posted it on her Instagram. I know that she thanked you. I don't even have to question her saying thank you because that's how I raise my kids to be very appreciative, right? Because I'm the type of person 
Um, and I know it's a lot of people on here, single moms, we have a hard time accepting things, right? We have a hard time because um, when there's nobody to ever turn to, you just figure out how to get things done. You make sacrifices. You go without. You get the necessities and not the wants. You know, that's all a part of it. And I had to grow into that. So I, I don't, I'm not um, able to always accept, you know, help or accept gifts. Um, I rather give. I feel much better giving than I do receiving. But my daughter came in and she was so happy that she was gifted with a going away present from you, Miss Deborah. And I just want to say, you know, being her mother, thank you. And I appreciate that because that meant the world to her. Uh, Juju. Juju's playing his game, girl. J Juju be on that new game, and he got them headphones on. He can't hear nothing I'm saying. <laughs> he, can't, he can't hear nothing I'm talking about. But, okay, so another thing I want to say um, is that I see a lot of reverse psychology being done, right? And, no, I'm no psych. I'm, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a um, psychologist. Um, I just, I'm just a person that has a great deal of common sense, right? A great deal of common sense. And I share it because I know everybody is not equipped with common sense. Common sense is kind of hard to come by, just like want to get a degree. You know, I don't have a degree up under my belt, but my common sense has carried me, right? So it's not what you possess, it's what you use that you have. Use what you have and use it wisely so you can get to where you want to be in life. And also, you guys, kindness will take you so far, way farther than hate. Hate is a heavy load to carry. I don't carry no hate. I don't carry heavy loads. I'm kind of spoiled. Like, I'm, I was the only child to my mother. Um, and although my mother did not spoil me, she wasn't in a position to give me anything um, far as materialistic because she gave me so much love. And even through her addiction, she was able to love me, right? But I still have a only child syndrome. So I'm always good to myself, right? I'm good to my children. Um, I try to be, and it ain't perfect. We bump heads and all that. You know, I called my Janae this morning and she was studying and I kind of interrupted her. So she had a little attitude, but that's okay because she'll call me when she's done and we'll pick up where we left off at, right? But she's 30 years old, you know. We're not going to always see eye to eye. We're not going to always be peaches and cream. So I don't want to get up here and give you guys the facade that my life is perfect. It's far from perfect, right? But I get on here and I say, let's do better. Let's practice being kind. Let's practice being givers and not takers, you know? And let me open myself up to be able to receive, you know, things because I wanna I wanna be able to receive. I have, and I was gonna tell you guys, people that are um, raising their kids alone um, and don't like to ask for help or, you know, do those things, it's, it's a learned behavior and it becomes a habit. So I don't sit on here like I got everything. I've just been doing it so long. I'm 48 years old, you guys. I became a mother at 18. I was I had just turned 19. I was walking the stage. My two-month-old daughter, she was born. I turned 19 in February. I had her in April. I walked the stage in June at my high school graduation. And my two-month-old daughter was in the audience. From that day forth, I just started making a way for myself because I knew that I was going to be a better mother than the mother that I had. And I was going to reach for the stars to be just as a good woman as my grandmother was because she was an amazing, strong woman. And I'm not even half of what she is, but I strive to get to where she was at because she had nine kids and then she had an adoptive son and then me. So that's a total of 11 kids that she had to spread all this love to. So then I said, when I get on YouTube, I'm going to be able to spread love to so many people. And this channel is growing 
beautifully. I mean, it's some amazing people on here. It's about three or four people on here that probably don't have good intentions, but the other 37 hundred is good people, good loving people. And I see you guys. I want to acknowledge you guys. I want to tell you guys that I appreciate you, right? But I think that is very calculating of some people that are going around using people name. And I had to, you know, talk with Cece yesterday and tell her, we're not going to absorb this into our um, energy. We're not going to allow them to get into our spirits and make us anything other than who we are. We're going to set up a system amongst each other that they're not going to be able to cause the problem that they're looking to cause, right? Because um, coming along with Latrice and people saying things, she seeks vengeance. She doesn't have enough faith that if I'm doing something wrong, I'm going to have a whooping coming. And this is why I don't try to say anything real derogatory about her. Although I can go there with her like she go there with us. But I choose peace mm -hmm. over all that. Because my goal is not getting into um, a hate spill or a hate exchange of words with her. That's not my mission. My mission, my mission on YouTube and even throughout my life is to spread love, is to spread encouraging words, is to tell you guys, if I could do it, you could do it, is to tell you guys some of the success stories that's happening in my life where, you know, the um, things were stacked against me. A young mother, a have a baby at my high school graduation um, to work really hard. I mean, to work really hard, always moving forward. I was able to um, establish a comfortable life for not just me, but for me, my children, and my grandchildren. And it ain't perfect, but it's good. And I'm not going to water it down just because somebody may think that I'm coming across as better than. I'm no better than. I'm telling you, God, the God honest truth of what my story is, right? This is my story. And it's, I'm, I'm so thankful that God chose me to have this story to tell and to share. Your children, single mother, can be whatever they want to be. You guys, we are strong. We have tools in our toolbox. And when I say tools in our toolbox, I mean life experiences that's going to help us navigate through life, right? And to come out on top. And always keep God first. Always be kind. If you see something, be bold enough. Oh my. Be bold enough to tell somebody. Don't hang around people that you can't be honest with. I have one friend. Well, I have multiple friends, you guys, but I have a special friend, right? And I'm able to tell her, oh, that wasn't cool. This wasn't right. And I only tell her because I deem her worthy of my words. She's worthy enough for me to tell her these things, right? And I know that I could tell her and she's going to take heed and say, okay. And she's come to me and say, Roz. You know, she was the one that told me, we ain't talking about homeboy no more. And I said, okay. <laughs> and I said, okay. I wasn't mad at her, you know, because she was able to be honest with me. So surround yourself with people that you can have a good um, rapport, like a good um um, relationship with, you know, and I know I kind of be stumbling over my work because I'll be like, I want y'all to get it. I'm rooting for everybody that's watching me. I want y'all to get what I'm saying and absorb what I'm saying just to make your life easier, right? Just to make life easier. And sometimes that door being closed is the blessing. Sometimes the redirection that God gives us is a blessing. So don't think because you tried to get this and it didn't work out. It's okay. It's, it's another door over there waiting for you to walk through. And it's going to be bigger and better. Then you're going to look back and say, I see why that happened. I see why I didn't, you know, wasn't able to do this, you know. And let me tell you guys a story real quick. My daughter wanted a job this certain particular job and she really wanted it because it was over a hundred thousand dollars a year right she wanted it the environment was poor the people were mean cruel wicked 
And, but she still wanted this job although it was an abusive situation. And I'm not going to go into great details about it because it is her personal thing. But do you know how thankful she is that that didn't work out? Because the environment would have been so much stress for her that it wouldn't have even been a good environment for her, you know? And it wasn't about the money at that point. It's about your peace of mind. It's about going home, not carrying this heavy load. You know, I have to tell my children all the time when they run into problems. Hold on, you guys. Let me get some tissue. Sorry about that. My nose is itching. I couldn't even talk to y'all, right? <laughs> it's like, my nose is itching. I don't want to be messing with it with my hair. Okay, so. <laughs> what was I telling y'all about? But I tell my kids all the time, they be wanting to hold on to heavy loads. They want to be, you know, wrecking their brains about things that's out of their control. I be, girl, let that go. Let it go. It's out of your hands. There's nothing that you can do about that, right? You want to carry that heavy load? I just told my good friend, girl, don't carry that, he that heavy load. Pull the good. Find the good in it. Find the good within the problem. Pull the good from it and let the rest go. You know, you're going you gonna to sit over there and stress yourself out over nothing and you can't do nothing about this. And about time we, you know, she went through what she went through and stuff. About time we got off the phone, she was like, thanks, Roz. You know, thank you. Because I see what people's trying to do. I see the hurt that they're trying to bring my way. But I, I, I don't want it. And I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, girl. Let that stuff go. Start writing your book. She's going to write a book. And I'm going to promote her book right here for you guys. Because she has an amazing story to tell. And it's going to entail healing from things, healing, being strong, working through it. And you don't have to be ashamed if you went through something as a kid and you're an adult and you can't say what it was because you're, you, you wasn't responsible for the pain that was given to you. Tell it. It's not for you to be embarrassed about nothing. You know, nothing at all. I'll tell you guys, when I was a little girl and my dad, you know, when my mom was addicted and I went to live with my grandparents, right? I was eight years old. My dad thought that he was going to kidnap me. That wasn't happening. My grandma and grandfather came over there to get me and he had me here. <laughs> and I can tell this story, y'all. I had to be about nine years old, but I remember it because it was the first time that I had Lay's potato chips and the yellow cupcake that come with two, and it was so good. I loved it that for a long time, right? But my grandfather, my grandmama was fussing. Woo, 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 woo. She was doing all this talking. And my grandfather was this big old Safeway truck driver. He stood back behind his wife. And he was like, they was like, give me my granddaughter. Where is my granddaughter, right? Because I guess by me going to live with my grandparents, my dad thought that he had first dibs, although he wasn't around, right? I would go visit his mother every now and then, you know. But my main place was my grandparents. <laughs> And I'm not ashamed to tell this story. He called himself, put me in the backyard with my little cupcakes and chips. And I hear my grandmother out there fussing. And I come out and I'm like, oh, hey, mama, you know, I'm going with my grandparents because those are my parents, right? And my dad says something out loud to my grandfather. I mean, my grandmother, because mind you, my grandfather was not an argumentative man. I, like, I don't like to argue either unless it's with one of my kids. I don't deem people worthy of a good argument, you guys, right? So I came out and my dad said something to my grandmother. And before I knew it, my grandfather had him by the back of his shirt and he was swift kicking him. Boop! <laughs> and they took me home and I didn't visit 
my grandmother on my dad's side for a long time because they had overstepped their boundaries. But I'm not ashamed of that story. That was that was my dad, you know, that was his thing. It didn't have no reflection on me. And that's what I'll be trying to tell my friend. Like, I don't care what parents do. You could tell your story. You wasn't the parent. You're not held responsible for that. You know what I'm saying? So tell your truth. If my kids want to get on here and tell you guys an experience they have with me at a low point, go ahead. They're not responsible for it. I'll take full responsibility of it because I was the mom. And although I was young and my children had to go through life and learn certain things with me, I'm glad I got it. I got it so that I can give them the love and the support and the warmth of a household and a mother, an attentive mom, you know. Um, so, yeah, so I'll just be trying to encourage my friend to tell her story, be honest, and don't carry that load. And for you guys, too, if it's something you got going on, tell your story, honey. You can help somebody. You can help somebody. It's not your responsibility to carry anybody darkness with you, you know? And I want to tell you guys about that today because I see it's a lot of dark energy when, when it comes to this YouTube. So I'm, I'm not going to get on here and sugarcoat nothing. I'm going to tell you guys, they are hacking. They're not hacking pages because they don't have our passwords. So they can't stop nothing, but they can come and they can try to start all this confusion. Oh, Cece was on Rise Live talking reckless. Oh, Riles was on Melissa Live being disrespectful. Nope, we gonna nip that in the bud. We're just not gonna come on and comment on each other's stuff. We know that we support each other. We know that we're viewing each other's content because the view is what you need to be successful on YouTube, right? So I want to um, touch bases with that stuff, you guys. And thank you guys for following both my daughters and their channels. I think that you should tell your daughters, your nieces, your cousins um, to watch them because they want to show everybody um, what they're doing throughout the, prog the progress. They don't want to just get on here and say, hey, here goes this success story and this is what I did. No, they want to walk you through the good, the bad, the pretty, the ugly, the whole thing to let you guys see that it can be done. And just because things get hard, that's okay. Keep pushing. Don't give up. Don't let nobody discourage you from doing what you feel, what you deem and, re you know, resonate with you is right. I'm not coming off of YouTube because um, these people want me to be quiet and not mention the errors of this girl's ways. I'm not. I'm going to keep on because I got a video coming for you guys reacting to some stuff that I just saw. And I'm just like, man, you know, but I know today is Friday and she's trying to hang with her kids. And I know she didn't let Courtney get on that camera yesterday with them little high um, draws on. But I would just say if I had younger children in the house and it, he's OK, embrace him, but even teach him how to represent himself to them. And it don't have nothing to do with us. I appreciate that we didn't see him in the little bitty Daisy Duke draws that we saw him in the other day. I appreciate that, but I would also appreciate it if the other kids wasn't exposed to it. Keep them as innocent as possible as long as you can, because one thing about it, once the kids are grown, they grown. We don't move back in time. We just keep on continuing to grow and get older, so it's no do-overs with time. Time keeps moving, whether we want it to or not. So I had all those messages for you guys today, you know, and I am so thankful. I'm so appreciative of the love and support because it outweighs the bad in my eyes. And I got on YouTube, you guys, and I'm going to be honest. I got on YouTube and I was ready for whatever. So I'm not going to never let the bad discourage me from coming on here delivering a message to you guys. I want everybody to do better. I want everybody to be good. I want everybody to walk in confidence. I want everybody to act in love. That's what I want, you know. And when I seen Coco them live last night, I said they should really set, get up tripod and I need to get one too but get a tripod and just let us see the inner inner workings of that household because I think it's a lot of beauty there you know and if you don't have to be all rich and fancy to have beauty 
You don't have to have it all together to experience beauty because when that sister-in-law came on that camera, I seen a beautiful, strong woman. You know, when, when when they made a comment last night about Latrice and she laughed, she apologized and somebody told her, why are you apologizing to her? She never apologized to you. She wrote in the thing and said, because I'm better than that. And I was like, girl, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You don't let nobody ugliness make you ugly. When you beautiful, stay who you are. That's why I try to remain Rosalind. I got a hood side to me. I can use all type of cuss words, but I'm cho I choose not to because I see the beauty in being able to communicate in a good way, in a way that everybody can understand exactly what I'm saying and they can accept it because I'm not giving it in a hostile way. I'm giving it with compassion behind every word that I'm telling you guys. You know, with understanding that it's not easy for us it's not easy for a lot of people sitting here watching me. A lot of people probably need to be lifted every day. So let me lift you guys. You guys are wonderful. You guys are beautiful. Let me speak affirmations all around you guys. If you're not having a good day, take a deep breath and just decide that you will no matter what. You know, no matter what. When I had my babies and I had to stretch um, a couple of dollars for groceries, I got real creative with cooking. Potatoes and pasta was my best friends. You get a bag of potatoes and an onion, a little bit of cooking oil, and you make them some smothered potatoes, steam them, put a little cheese on it. Them kids love that. You don't have to have a lot of money to create a fulfilling meal for your babies. My children would tell y'all, I'm very creative. And spaghetti, oh, we ate spaghetti at least once a week. You know, because it was inexpensive. And it, everybody could have it. With a loaf of bread, <laughs> we had a good meal. And to this day, my kids love spaghetti. My whole family. <laughs> I promise y'all. I got an 18. I love my 18s. They my sisters, right? All my, all my mom's sisters are my sisters. But my auntie, if I call her and say, girl, what you want me to bring? Girl, make some spaghetti. <laughs> and we've been eating spaghetti all our life. <laughs> but she still want her pot of spaghetti. And her kids don't like spaghetti because she really worried about it. She can have it every other day. <laughs> At least my kids only got it probably, you know, once a week, every other day. But my little cousins, they be like, uh-uh, don't make no more spaghetti, mama. <laughs> but my family, we love it because it was 11 of us. So my grandmother, we had roaster pots that we used to cook in. So by the time I got to be a mom and taking care of my babies, and I hope this is helping somebody. Y'all know I got a great big sense of humor, but I'm for real. If you struggling today... It's the end of the month. Things get hard on the end of the month. I don't care what we do the last few days of the month. We can, I just got paid last week. But just because, you know, I'm getting Davion ready for school and stuff, money goes. And I'm like, what is up with the end of the month? I don't care what we do. It's always hard. What's that, baby? No, -uh. well, I want some of that icy. Can you put me some? I just can you put me some in the cup? No, no, I'm trying to go in my can. Can you just get some? Okay, well, give me the spoon and get you a real spoon, and I'll eat some. Boy, don't be having DoorDash coming. You ain't offer me nothing. Man, See, oh, that. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a little bit of this. But uh, <laughs> what I was saying, oh, I say it with humor, you guys. But I know when things get rough. You know, you guys inbox me. I got very inexpensive um, food ideas that we can feed our babies and they'll be full and we'll be happy. You know, if it's if it's anything we're struggling, we got to figure out ways and be very creative so that we don't let it overwhelm us because our babies need our energy to be kept high and good. Oh, Juju, this is so good, but it's so full of sugar. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, so 
I just had to come on here, you guys. I had an amazing message for you guys. Me, CC. I haven't spoke with Melissa yet, you guys, but I'm going to speak to her. Um, I'm going to speak with her too because I will not be in nobody's comments. Coco, if you ever see this video, I will not never be in your comment. So if anybody comment under Chopping It Up with Roz Ruley, it wasn't me. Reach out to me in my Gmail, Chopping It Up, Chopping It Up 2.0 email me it's not me i don't have anything rude or malicious to say to anybody right and if you guys are trying to be creative and feed multiple children and you're on a budget and you're just having a hard time with it inbox me because i can tell you guys some very inexpensive fulfilling meals that you can um make for your babies even a tater tot casserole kids love that you'll even enjoy it you know don't stress about not having enough it's okay it's okay and when i get my little goat my little um pro what is it called it's a little bitty cat when i get that i'm gonna tell you guys how i shop you know how i shop and how i stress me and i don't have a lot of all my kids are grown and independent now and i wish i would have started this channel when they were little because i would tell you guys i used to make um things stretch for us when when even though i had a job it still was hard to provide for four kids you know and and myself you know and i got i still to this day put myself on the back burner a lot of the stuff you guys see me wear is stuff i've been having a long time i i hardly ever shop for me you know because i want to make sure that my grandkids have things you know and even when i'm at the store and they don't even visit that often right because of the situation with my son he's not here that often so the kids are not here that often because i don't babysit for him right i babysit when i want to because like i say i make a choice not to carry heavy loads that's gonna put stress on me i love them but when i go shopping i make sure when they come it's stuff here for them and the stuff stays here and i get stuff that don't get old popsicles canned stuff cabinet food you know things that don't get old mm, mm -mm -mm -mm. that was good baby but that's all i needed <laughs> he came and got his slurpee <laughs> i eat that slurpee i love ice seasons <laughs> but yeah so i wanted to make this video my main point is about not commenting lives and stuff to keep us safe because we do have these people that um have been given the green light to harass us to bother us to try to turn us against one another it's not gonna work i'm a problem solver i will come up with solutions and like i told cc we just won't comment we won't come, we'll come in the lives and we'll only give you your view and your support, but we won't comment. So if I see anybody in my chat being Melissa or Cece, I'm just going to disregard it that it's not them. I'm not going to bite into what these people want us to bite into. And I hope that I encourage anybody that's struggling to be take a deep breath and regroup and start over and, and come up with a strategy on how it's going to work for you. And if you got a problem, call me or not call me because I don't have a phone number for you guys to call. Call me on, call me through Instagram. I've had people call me through Instagram. And if it's not a pleasant phone call, I just hang up. But if you have a personal problem that you're going through, reach out. I have a lot of advice to give. I have a lot of um problem solving tactics that I, that worked for me you know i'm very solution oriented so if you need my help reach out i'm here for you i love you guys and i know this video is already 37 minutes plus i gotta put my intro on but i'm gonna come back um probably in like an hour i'm gonna come back in like an hour i'm gonna go live um but i want to react to a video that you know i saw a video so i want to react to it right and so i'll come back and react to it but i love you guys i love raw squad i think that we are an amazing group of women and men young and old and i think that we're gonna keep on um, striding we're gonna keep on encouraging and uplifting everybody and we're gonna always come from a place of love i'll talk to you guys in my very next video all right cc melissa and coco i hope you guys get the message 
you will not be hearing from me in your comments or in your live streams. I will watch and support, but we're not going to let these people turn us against one another. Okay. Goodbye. Love you guys. Have a good day. Happy Friday. And I'll talk to you guys in a few hours. Bye-bye.